you know, everyone always asks me, you know, it's just like who in your family, you know, played an instrument because, you know, because, you know, my brother's a great songwriter, my little sister's a great songwriter, and, and you know, really, I mean, there was nobody. We, we grew up, there was nobody that played instruments, but all of my family, my, my, my grandparents, my, my parents and everything, they were, they were, you know, for being basically country people, they were very, they're, they're, they're you know, that we were listening to, you know, Tom T. Hall and, 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 and you know, I, Jackson Brown and, you know, you go on and on about, you know, these, you know, Willie, of course, and Waylon. And, and, you know, I always remembered, you know, that, you know, that when my parents were going through a divorce, you know, this record kind of reminded me of that, the, my new record. But, uh, but when my parents were going through a divorce, I, I, you know, I never really understood what was going on. And then I got Willie Nelson's Faces and Stages, which is, you know, one side is from a man's point of view, the other side's from a one, woman's point of view. And that record just, completely struck a chord in my life, you know, because it was just like that, that, you know, Willie explained to me what was going on in my life when I was nine years old, you know, and so that, uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of whenever, you know, words really started making an impact on me, you know, and I was an, I was an athlete in, 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 in high school and a, and a college athlete, you know, and so it was, it was kind of a weird, you know, a weird, you know, it was kind of duplicitous, you know, in, in the way that uh, the way that it was, because you know, it's like people that that you know knew me as a you know a football player, or a baseball player, you know, it's just like you know you're going to be a songwriter too, you know. So, um, so, but I spent you know a good you know six months or so. Bruce and I, you know, both left college. Um, we both played college ball, and and uh, we just decided to you know, heck with it one day, and we drove to uh, Austin and went to. Uh, um, Antones and went and sat inside Antones while they were cleaning up one day at about three o'clock and we're just like, we're here, we have no place to live, we got no money and anything. So ended up, you know, sitting on a you know, on a street corner on Sixth Street and, and you know, playing Buddy Holly songs or whatever, you know, and for, for for change and sleeping on couches for, you know, a year or two and, and uh then, you know, joined a band uh here in Austin and then just started kind of learning more how to ride and more the direction I wanted to go in and it, it, it took a while, you know, and people always ask me, I was like, man, how do you, how do you, what's the best way to go about doing this? You know, it's just like, you know, there's, de there's definitely no template, you know, as far as, you know, some people just, you know, they play for a little while, they got a great voice or whatever, and they just go to Nashville and they get signed like that, you know, it's just like, it didn't, it didn't happen that way for me. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a hard slog for a long time and it's definitely been worth it.